website, we are going to need uh, to use the Visual Studio Community 2015. And you can find that on the Microsoft uh, website. It's for free. And once you've uh, downloaded it and installed it, uh, just go ahead and add a new project. And in, the, in this menu, just uh, in this Visual C Sharp, you can find web. And you can find the .NET framework and name the uh, uh, project like uh, shopping store. You just uh, browse where you want to put it. We're going to be put maybe on the uh, documents, just in the documents. And click OK. And in here, just use the MVC because that's what we are going to do use. And uh, just click OK. And if you if this popped out, if you have an Azure account, you can just set it up. And if you don't, just click Cancel. And let's create the project for us. So in the previous section, we talked about the MVC architecture, Model View Controller. In this section, we are going to take a little bit deeper into the controller phase. What is a controller? When you go into your browser and type in Google, for example, what happens is, what happens is that you, the user, you are making a request to the server, and the server is able to respond back to that request on some server and logic. So what we are going to do now is that we are going to build our first store controller for our online shopping store. This controller is going to be used as a thing page for, it's going to list the, the categories like uh, electronics, furniture, accessories, all the categories that we have in our store. Also going to list the items or products in each of in every of those categories. Like, uh, we have phones, uh, we have laptops in electronics, and we have like shares tables in uh, furniture, and so on. And also is going we are going to use it to uh, show us details about each and every one of those items. So, uh, one phone is made uh, by Sony, another by, made by Apple and so on. So let's go into the controller here and click and click add controller. Let's choose here MV35 controller and MT1 add. Here let's name it store controller. So this is the ASBMVC convention is to name the controller store which is like the name of our controller and then the controller name. Let's click add. As you can see here, it already made us index method. Also, the store controller drives from controller. What is the controller that we are driving from is going to provide us with some helper methods that we are going to use in our controller. The controller should derive from controller. What we are going to do with index, let's add other methods that we are going to use to browse the categories to show details about them. So let's go here and do other methods. Um, browse. Yep. Let's go this here. Let's return hello from browse. I missed the other mess here. Copy that. Here details. Let's check on those. See how it works. How is con our controller is going to work? So let's, let's let's also change the index method. Let's make it string and go from index. Everything seems right. Let's just oh, okay. Let's build. Now we are going to see how the, our controller is going to work. The browser. So let's just build this on our application. So yeah, this here. Let's browse into store. So as you can see here, it showed us hello from index. 
Let's go and bring browse. Hello from browse. As you can see now, we are able to send a request to the controller, to our server. The server is able to respond back with some uh, response. Here we uh, made the response to be hello from browse or hello from index or whatever. So now we are going to use, uh, to make a uh, browse uh, return us a, query, uh, a string based on our qu uh, query that we make. So we want to get uh, to the uh, electronics category, for example. We put in our, uh, well here we put uh, the category, the electronics. How we are going to do, to do that? So let's go here and type in string and category. Go here and say string search HTTP HTML code. Now let's go here. So what is this? What what is this? Actually, is that we are uh, sanitizing the query string that user is inputting. So what does that mean? Actually, is that we are to protect our controller. Uh, from being hacked, or someone maybe JavaScript link uh, in our uh, URL here, and he's able to do something in our website. So this is important for you passing a query controller. So let's type here showing uh, category. Let's just hear the category that we inputted. Here, so show message. Right. Use okay. Yeah. Come here. Now let's go ahead and build this. Here, browse. Or browse. Um, degree. Rules. As you can see here, showing category electronics. So we are able to pass some query string. Here we pass the electronics. He showed us showing category electronics. So now let's do the same thing for details. Go ahead and put here uh, int id. Uh, we are not going to use the HTTP utility HTML encode here because it's not going to be as a query string. It's going to embed it as a parameter. Let's see here string which equals store store and details is going to show us the uh, the ID and let's go here and Right. So now let's build this and run it. And here we're going to store our details and here like five. Let's just close those here. So here in the MPC actually we need to specify some uh, other things when we use like some uh, a parameter after the action method. So our action method is named details. We need to do here, as you can see here, store details five. We need to do some um, extra work to embed, make it know that this is an ID. If you have a method here and it has a parameter named ID, we see it's anything after the action method name ID. So now, as we have seen the browse and the details, we are going to be that done for this uh, section. In the next section, we are going to talk a little bit more about the view and make uh, our 
will show us some uh, more enhanced views in HTML, actually, not just uh, like words like here or something. Right? So that's it for this uh, section. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you in another section.